Hello friends, I'm back, and in the last video we made this thing here where we um, put hi there on the screen, and that was all fun, um, but I feel like I sort of glossed over one thing that's important, which is a variable, and I've already actually made this video, I made this video and it was about 20 minutes long, it had a lot of great information, and sometime I'm going to make a playlist called JavaScript Everything You Need to Know. But for this one, it's just what you need to know. And what you need to know about variables is there's basically two kinds of variables in JavaScript. There's the constant variable, which is a variable that will not get reassigned. And then there's the let variable, which is a variable which will get reassigned a new value at some point in the future. And the only time to use a let variable is when you know you want to reassign it later. You know you want that to be a possibility. There's something really great about a const, which is that anytime if I try to reassign this div value and I go to my console, we'll see error, assignment to constant variable. And that's great because that means that variable is safe. This variable will always be a div. It's never gonna become a different kind of variable. And what's this type of variable here? This is a Boolean. So we've got these two types of variables, const and let. Both of these constants, both, <laughs> both of these variables ha uh, have their meaning within a certain scope. In this case, the scope of this is this entire page of code. If I put some brackets, like for instance, what we'll talk about in the next video, I make a function and I declare a variable in here and I try to log the value of that variable out here. And let's see, I'll just take this out. And we'll see. A variable is not defined because a variable only exists between these two curly braces. So that's a really, really important thing to know about variables. They have scope. This variable here, I can log on and I'll get false. You see, I get false. I can go inside this function and I can also log the value of on in there. Look at that. Oh, wait. wait a second. Oh, I have to call the function. I have to call this function. So I'll call this function. And next video, we're going to talk more about these. If I call my func, we'll see. False. So I can have access to this variable inside all the functions that are inside this global scope, so-called, right? But I can't have access outside. And this is a really neat thing about JavaScript. That, And it's so much like life. The children have access to the parents' variables. The parents do not have access to the children's variables. And if you think about that, that really is the way things are in life, too. Um, so I just think that's neat and it's important to remember and that is scope, the scope of variables. Now before we go on to talk about functions, I do want to mention these variables, whether they're lets or const or occasionally in older code you'll see the older way of declaring variables in JavaScript. Before there was const and let, there was just var and var is always reassignable. Um, var is not scoped to particular curly braces. Var is something you should always replace with either let or const when you're working with older 
JavaScript code. So that's all you need to know about var. Now about let and const, you can see, and you know, we you can have a thing like const pi, and you can see I can make it capital letters to make sure you know that's a constant. Or whatever the heck it is. I don't even know what pi is. And we can also um, actually use math.pi. I can console.log. I think this is right. Let's see. Yeah, see, I got the syntax right. There's pi. So we can use certain libraries. And there's a couple. I'm going to link to them, actually, in this video. And they're both at MDN. We can, um, there's the math library. And the math library is extremely useful for dealing with um, numbers. So numbers are a type of variable. We can set numbers to, I can have a, my number would be three, oops. I can also make my other number equal to a floating point number. We can multiply numbers, we can divide numbers, we can add numbers, we can do all kinds of things with them. Once I've assigned this variable, I can actually say console.log my number plus other number. Oh, my other. And we can, we can add those together, and we can see the output. So once those variables have been assigned a number, we can um, add them together. Weirdly enough, another type of variable, which is called a string in JavaScript, a string variable is what we use to store text. And we can... other other number is going to be this and we can add my number to my other other number and we can see what that looks like look at that three three so when we add numbers to strings you can see we just get like this new kind of string and strings are, are pretty neat there's something else in JavaScript so strings can be like this there's a const my template literal number. There's a thing called a template literal that I want to introduce you to, which is where we use not the quotation marks, but the backticks, which is the top left corner of your keyboard. And here I can call this, um, I can I can reference a JavaScript variable inside of this string to return a string, and we'll say I'm gonna go my number, and I'm gonna add that, and then we can console.log this. Let's look at that. So now we get three three. Um, not that much different, but this, this, this is a very useful version of a string, this template literal. So I wanted to just mention it. So we've talked about two types of variables. There's the number, there's the string, there's the Boolean. And we actually talked a little bit about that a Boolean is a true or false. And we'll usually use a let to assign a Boolean. And we'll often use those when we want to check a conditional. So I could say if on do one thing, else do another thing. And we'll look at this conditional statement later on in, in another video. I think it'll actually be the last video. Um, but we've got number, string, boolean. We've got, we already saw this, undefined was what we got when we go like, X is not defined, so X is not defined. And I could say const X. 
can actually set it to the type of undefined. And now you see it's undefined. I can set it to the type of null. And now you can see it's a null. Um, there's a few other variable types, but those are the most important ones. And so those are the ones I'm going to focus on here. There's the symbol, there's big int, there's all kinds of things we can do with variables, but that's like the bottom, bottom most important things about variables. So I'm going to move on to the next video and we're going to talk about functions, my favorites. Functions are really the, the key to understanding JavaScript, understanding that it is, it is really a, a functional first language, I think, especially contemporary JavaScript. So I will